I'm News 25 Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart, and I'm here to help you program your Midland WR120 weather radio. But before we get started, you need to select which counties you want to program into your radio. And in most cases, you'll select the county that you live in and those immediately to your west southwest, which is normally the direction that storms will come from. That information is available here on our website. You'll need to look up the SAME code for those counties. You'll also need to select the frequency that you need to tune into for the best coverage for where you live. And that information is also available here on our website. So let's get started. When you first power up the radio, welcome will briefly be displayed, then it will go to the set language option. Press the select button and then you'll have the option to choose between English, French or Spanish. When you make your choice, hit select and your radio will be programmed for the language you selected. The next option is to set your location. Press the select button and the word any is displayed. Press the up arrow to select single, multiple, or any. Single is for one county only. Multiple is for more than one county. And any is for all counties. Now note, your radio comes pre-programmed to receive weather and hazard alert transmissions for all of the same codes within range. If this is what you want, set the radio to any by pressing select again. If not, we'll continue programming. Most of you will likely choose the multiple option. This will give you the ability to program the radio for the county that you live in and for another county or two to the immediate west-southwest of your location, which is the direction that most storms come from. So I'll show you an example of how to program your radio for Vandenberg and Warwick counties using the multiple option. With multiple displayed on the screen, hit the select button and you'll see the words same and zero one displayed. Press select again and you'll see a series of dashes with the first one flashing. Press the up arrow to select the first digit. And it's important to remember that most same codes start with a zero and you'll need to include that zero in the code. The default for the first digit is zero, so you should be set to go with digit number one. Hit the right arrow to go to digit number two and then press the up arrow to select, in the case of Vandenberg County, one and continue with this procedure going to the right for each additional number and for Vandenberg County the next one would be 8 and we'll toggle up to 8 then continue over to the fourth digit which for Vandenberg County is 1 and then on to the next for 6 and the final digit in the same code for Vandenberg County is 3 once you verify that all the digits are correct, hit the select button and the first county is now programmed into your radio. In this example, we are programming multiple codes. So after the first county is programmed, hit the up button and now we'll have the option to program county number two. In this example, our second county will be Warwick County. Hit the select button and you'll again see the flashing dashes. Now hit the up button which will give you the option to program the first digit in the next same code, which will be zero. We'll go to the second digit, and for Warwick County, that is also a one. Third digit is eight. The fourth digit for Warwick County is one. Digit number five is seven, and the final digit is three. Double check the numbers again, 018173, the same code for Warwick County, that's correct. We hit the select button and our radio is now programmed for two counties, which in this example are Vandenberg and Warwick. In the multiple option, you'll have the ability to program as many as 24 different counties the same way that we programmed the first two by simply stepping through the same codes from numbers 1 through 24. The next option is to set the time on your radio. Hit the select button and you'll see the hour flashing. Hit the up button to change the hour and it is a 24 hour clock. So for PM, which we're already on, just select the hour. If you need to go into the AM, just continue selecting and the clock will cycle through to the AM hours. Once you have selected the hour, hit the right button to select the minutes. And once your time is correctly set, Hit the select button to save. 
The next option is to set the channel or the frequency of your radio. Hit the select button and you'll be able to toggle through the seven different NOAA weather radio frequencies. Refer to your list for the proper frequency for the county that you are located in and you can toggle up and down with the buttons here to adjust the volume of your radio. Once you have verified that you've got the correct frequency, hit the select button and your radio is now programmed for the correct channel. The next option is to select the alert type. When that is displayed, press the select button and you'll have the option to choose between tone, display, or voice. The tone option will give you an alert tone that will sound for five minutes or until you press any button to stop the tones. If you press the weather snooze button, you will hear the voice of the weather broadcast. The voice option will give you an alert tone that will sound for about eight seconds then you will hear the voice of the weather broadcast for about three minutes. If you want to listen longer, press the weather snooze button. The display option scrolls a message across the display, but no alert sounds will be heard. Once you have selected your option, press the select button to save the option. The next option is to test the alert. When you see the alert test in the display, hit the select button and you will hear the alarm. To silence the alarm, hit any button on the radio. If you do not hear the alarm, make sure that the on-off switch on the right side of the radio is in the on position. The next option is to set the alarm clock. When you see set alarm on the display, hit the select button and then the up button will give you the ability to toggle between the on and off options. To set the time of your alarm, hit the select button and then select the time the same way we set the clock in the earlier example. Once you have chosen the time, hit the select button again to lock in that alarm. The next option is to set the backlight. When backlight is displayed, hit the select button and you can choose between a normal backlight, which will turn off after a few seconds, no backlight at all, or a continuous backlight. Once you have made your selection, hit the select button to save. The next option is the button beeps. When you see that displayed, hit the select button and this will give you the option to hear the button beeps or not. Once you have made your choice, hit the select button to save. The next option is to allow your radio to respond to the weekly test, which in most cases is issued on Wednesday mornings. If you want your radio to respond to these tests, hit the select button and toggle to the on option. Hit select again and that option will be saved. Now your weather radio is programmed and ready to go, but to make sure, remember you have that weekly test each Wednesday, which should sound the alert on your radio if you have programmed that option. Thanks for choosing News 25 as your source for weather information.